PUID with capability requirements, those two capability requirements and that one constraint requirement. There's also another way that you can look at it. You can look at it in its own separate window over here on the right hand side. If you click on that it'll break it out into its own window right there. That's useful for taking a screenshot of it and adding to your report. You can turn the grid off and on if you don't like looking at the grid. You can customize each one of these windows. And that's pretty self-explanatory. You just kind of fiddle around with it. Change the font colors and the line colors and the background colors and all those different things in there. You just fiddle around with it and figure out what you like. So that's one way of looking at it. Another way is the hierarchy view. So I'm going to go ahead and delete, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close out the project pane and the elements pane. Remember I showed you the reason you can close those out is so you can see things all the way on your screen right here. So I'm going to go ahead and shut that grid off so you can see these more clearly. So this shows you the relationships that these requirements have with each other in a kind of a requirements tree. And the unique thing about this is you can take these little handles, if you select on one of these and this little brown box, you can select that and drag it right or left or down this way and it'll take everything with it. So if you need to squish all this into a tiny little area to fit on your 8.5 by 11 chart on your requirements analysis report, then you just go in here and kind of rearrange things in order to fit everything in its own area. Okay? So kind of like that. And you can drag this all the way back over here like this. And now you're looking at kind of a narrow area. And we'll take this and drag it all the way over here kind of narrows it down. So when this requirements analysis report is generated this will be able to fit on the entire sheet instead of having it spread horizontally this way it's going to show up as a tiny... You'll, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about when we do the requirements analysis report. Okay. So the last tab I'm going to show you is this requirements tab and this shows you the relationships with the names. It's the relation... this requirement is written as this and it shows the description of the requirement in there and then it says this requirement is derived from that one this is the first capability requirement and it shows you the words inside of it the first few words if you need to expand it click this lower handle right here and that will expand it same kind of rules as this the, the other one you can click and drag things wherever you need them okay so there's different ways to view these the main one I just showed you is on the main core interface and that's these tabs down here at the bottom and then like I showed you also there's the different separate windows you can do the right hand side up here and there's also these little icons across the top and that's pretty much the same thing you can also click, click on data open element and then you can click on one of these ER diagram hierarchy or requirements diagram so ER diagram breaks it out to, into a different window you can also double click on an element. Let me go back to here. And we'll go back to this. Double click on an element. And this breaks it out into its own window. And then you can click on the little tabs next to it. Okay. And while you're in here, you can right click on it also. There's one last way. You can do open element down here. Properties, ER diagram, etc. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to show you is viewing these in a table format. Now you need to do that in order to quickly look for relationships, uh, gaps in your relationships, orphan requirements, or requirements that are not being are not refining anything or are not refined by anything. This is a real quick way to find out whether or not requirements uh, are just hanging out there in limbo. So if you look at, take a look at that, and what I did was I, I clicked on, let me go back. So the way you do that is you click on this show elements and their attributes and relationships in tabular format. This is going to, to show you this requirement, actually all the requirements that I have listed here in a table. So here it is, let me get out of this project pane. So you can see the whole thing in a table format. Okay. Now you can click on this box at the top and click and drag this to show the entire description for all these and it'll change the length of all the different boxes. Okay. You can click
click and drag, kind of customize it. Now this is really good if you need to export this into into Microsoft Excel, then you just select the different, actually you could probably select the whole entire thing and copy it right here, right click and copy and then you'd paste, I'll go ahead and do it, I'll run Excel start up Excel and then hit control V or paste and there we have it you just quickly format it and make it wrap the text alignment, wrap text right here and that's still kind of a mess but just expand these a little bit. Select this up here. Kind of stretches everything out a little bit. Double click right here and that brings everything up. Double click here and that kind of dresses everything all up. Um, go in here and add the grid so it separates all of them. Okay. So this that's a quick and easy way to add it to Excel. Once it's in Excel then you can easily cut and paste it into Microsoft Word as well. So that's the quick down and dirty way of doing that. So let me go back to here. Turn everything back on. Okay. So what I've shown you today, I introduced you to the different kinds of elements over here in the project pane. Uh, I showed you how to create requirements, the several different ways that you can create requirements. I showed you how to establish relationships with other elements. Uh, I showed you how to view the elements in different kinds of ways, and I showed you how to view the elements in a tabular format for traceability. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to generate a requirements analysis report. So I'll talk to you then. Thanks.